Now to the latest on the Alaska Airlines investigation. A missing part that blew off a plane mid-flight Friday has been located. A fleet of Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes have been grounded as a result, leading to flight cancellations. KTLA 5's Lauren Lister live at LAX, where some flights are impacted. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lou. Hi, Glenn. New at this hour, we do have some images of the fuselage that blew out of that plane midair. I'll show those to you in a moment. Meantime, Alaska Airlines says that they have canceled 140 flights in total so far today because of the grounding of those 737 MAX 9 planes for them to all be inspected following that midair scare. Some flights at LAX are impacted. Take a look. Here is more of the Alaska terminal at this hour. Uh, we haven't come across a whole lot of people who are affected right now here at the departures level. Handful of either canceled flights or delayed flights on the board. FlightAware does report 43 canceled flights today between Alaska and United. Uh, those are the domestic carriers affected by the 737 MAX 9 groundings. Some flyers we have spoken to are frustrated. There's a message from these guys at 4.30 in the morning Sunday. that our fly, Sunday that our flight at 8 o'clock was canceled. Then um, we uh, miraculously we get a ticket on this flight this morning. We got to the airport just now and we just now uh, and we got bing that it's 950 now. They delayed the flight. Now this uh all comes after the, or new at this hour rather the NTSB uh, excuse me uh, the grounding of the planes all comes after this terrifying Friday night Alaska flight from Portland headed to Ontario six minutes in a chunk of the fuselage blew out when the plane was about 16,000 feet in the air the plane did make it back to Portland luckily none of the 177 people on board were seriously injured and here we go new at this hour these are the NTSB photos that have been released of the lost refrigerator size piece of the plane that fell out of the sky. It was found by a Portland school teacher named Bob right in his yard. It's a door plug. It's not an actual usable door. The NTSB has clarified and they did describe the horror when it came off during that flight. It was described as chaos, uh, very loud uh, between the air and um, everything going on uh, around them, and, uh, and it was very violent. New details at a Sunday press conference. The NTSB revealing they've gotten nothing from the cockpit voice recorder as it was completely overwritten, they say, because devices are required to keep just two hours of audio at a time. The NTSB chief pushing for that to change to 25 hours. They also revealed that the Alaska Airlines uh, plane that was affected by this fuselage blowout, they'd stopped using it for long flights over the water to Hawaii after a warning light had gone off on three prior flights showing a possible pressurization problem. Now, the NTSB chief did clarify it may not be related to Friday's incident, so that's an important point. Now, back out here live, Alaska Airlines says, where are they now with the inspections? Well, they are still waiting for a couple steps to be completed before they can begin. They're waiting for a sign-off from the FAA, they say, but once they have it, they say their technicians are ready to inspect these planes expected to take four to eight hours. Meantime, they say passengers who are affected by these delays and cancellations are being rerouted. That is the latest live here at LAX. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.